My name is Kit Carson. Sheriff Walton sent word he'd be stopping here. Is he around? He sure is. Johnny! Glad to see you, Kit. Thanks for coming. Well, El Toro, how's it going? Still breaking the ladies' hearts? Say, for a sheriff that needs help on a big manhunt, you seem to be taking things pretty easy. Say, Udo, we expect to find you with a posse of deputies ready to ride the trail. I've already been out. I had a wonderful stroke of luck and caught the bank robber single-handed. Great. Did he have any of the bank money with him? Everlast greenback and gold coin. Case is closed. Oh, your father would be mighty happy to hear about this. Why, any father would be. His father is senator from Plumas County. He wants Johnny to go ahead as sheriff, and, and then maybe he'll be governor of California someday. No, I'll never be that high. And why not? Public service seems to run in your family. Now, where's your prisoner? Colonel Johnny. Anita, how fortunate to find you here. I beg your pardon, sir. When I come to Yermo, I have no idea that I meet again with the lovely Anita Vélez. You make the mistake. I do not remember you. Well, how could you forget? Sheriff Valden, I looked everywhere for you. Good afternoon, Miss Valden. It is a wonderful afternoon. All of our little town is talking of the new sheriff of Plumas County. Nothing bad, I hope. Oh, this is my friend, Kit Carson. Senor. How do you do, senorita? I wish to congratulate you on catching this terrible bandido. Well, that's uh, very nice of you, but... Others wish to congratulate you also. So I arrange a little party at my home. Oh, now wait, senorita. Me and Guillermo do not wait. We wish to honor our sheriff, who does his duty so well. Vamos? Well, I guess I can't offend the people who voted for me. Uh, excuse me, senorita. I'd like to see Johnny alone for a moment. But do not keep him too long. His friends are waiting. It's a little chilly in here, isn't it? How could you do this to El Toro? You make me the fool in front of my friends. But how can I make you what you are already? Who's your prisoner, Johnny? Spade Bynum. Spade Bynum? Boy, that is a haul. He's the biggest bank robber on the Pacific Coast. Well, this little town doesn't have a jail yet, so I had to put him in my room, chained to the bed. With the money? They'll both be safe with you to keep an eye on him. Here, room 11. All right, you go on to the party, Johnny. I'll keep an eye on Bynum, with pleasure. Thanks, kid. Toro, would you like to join us? No, oh, thank you very much. But I would not think of disappointing the widow of Bando. It so happens that she arranges a fiesta for El Toro also. Well, I'll give her my regards and thanks. She had her whole family vote for me. It will be a pleasure. Shall we go? Something is not what it should be. So I noticed. At any other time, Miss Anita would faint for a smile from me. Well, as always, the widow Abando. So very lovely. And so very lonely. Well, go on, Romeo. I've got some guard duty to do. Hiya, Spade. What's it to you, Carson? You were never too interested in me when we were soldiering together. Looks like you'd have been better off if you'd have stayed in the Army. Oh, I'm still soldiering, but I'm fighting for me, Spade Bynum. Doesn't that hardware kind of slow you down? This? Nah, it's all in a day's work. You got a light? Sure. Thanks. Anything else I can do for you? Oh, I'm very comfortable, thanks to Sheriff Johnny Alden, the boy I wonder. He might be young in years, but he did a man's job as far as you're concerned. That's beginner's luck. Say, is El Toro with you? Happens he is. Why? Well, bring him in. I could use some laughs about now. I'm sorry, but he's catching up on his social engagements. Oh, his social activities. Seems like the sheriff is, too. What's the matter with us, Carson? Haven't we got any friends? Well, boys, we've stalled long enough. My girl's got the sheriff under control by now. The next thing we've got to do is get Carson away from Spade. You boys start a fight. That ought to bring him on the run. Hold it. Here comes Carson's partner. Hey, come here. Ain't you El Toro? So my friends tells me. I'm glad I know you. I'm Carl Rigby. This is Solly Farnsworth and Cookie Johnson. Hi. Would you like to have a game with me and the boys? Well, I had other plans. Yeah, you look it. All spruced up for the gal that wasn't there, huh? But she was there, senor. But the widow Abando, she was not alone. If I ever caught my gal two time and on me, I'd shoot her. Sit down. Hey, pardon, senor. Don't we slice them first? Not when I'm dealing, you don't. Uh, 
How fast? Pass me. Well, I opens with two bitches. I'll just see that and raise you. Uh, one card, please. Hey, you miss deal, senor. I'll take one myself. Hey, uh, you play too crooked for my liking. Are you calling me a crook? Now do me the favor, senor, to return my money. found these two ganging up on Toro. What's the deal, Toro? A gentleman asked me to a friendly game of cards. Seguro I play. Then it turns out he's no gentleman. Which one is he? Well, Senor Rigby, but I see he's wisely gone elsewhere. Did you say Rigby? That's the name he gave me, Carl Rigby. He was in the army with Bynum. Keep an eye on these two, Toro. Look at all that money, Spade. I didn't know there was so much money in all the world. Yeah, I've seen it before. What are you going to do about me? I'll be back after you tonight. Beat it. Looks like you're a little late, Sheriff. We've been robbed. Now, a smart scout like you, Carson, you ought to be able to pick that burglar up easy. Was it Carl Rigby? I don't know, but I can describe him. He wore a Stetson hat and a derby. What? Yeah, uh, one for each of his two heads. You've had your last chance, Bynum. Come on, Johnny, we'll pick up Rigby. You've got the money? Yeah, most of it. Bravo. I will manage to hold back the sheriff. Don't worry about the sheriff. The boys will take care of him. Let them have a little fun. Hold it, you two! I haven't time to explain. under arrest. Yeah, what for? We done nothing against the law. Two men who hadn't done anything, you were riding mighty fast. Of course we was. Joe and me was having a little race. He bet me a new hat, he could beat me out of the ranch. Search him, kid. No evidence. Of course there isn't. But I can hold him for 72 hours anyway. In a town without a jail? 
Yeah, you're right. They'd only hold us up. All right, go on and finish your race. And I hope you break your necks. They're tied in, all right. Yeah. Well, we've got a couple of better leads back in town, though. He's out on business. But I must see him. Senorita, do not cross my gun. What is all this? What have these men done? They robbed your friend, Sheriff Johnny. Que malos. But I must I find warn you, him. do not block my aim. Sheriff, didn't you expect to see my smiling face? There was ever a time in my life when I wanted to shoot a man. Oh, now, killing me's not going to get that money back for you, and you know you're responsible to the bank for every cent of it. I know how you feel, a fine young officer. You make your first big catch, you're a hero. Everybody's shouting, hooray, hooray, and then all of a sudden, <coughs> the money's gone. And all the Californians left, and the poor Sheriff Johnny Alden. Shut up. How's El Toro? He'll be all right, except for a bump between his horns. Oh, now, who'd want to beat up on a harmless, amusing little cuss like that? You know the answer to that one, Bynum. Come on, Johnny, he'll keep it. You boys put your horses down in the underbrush while I put mine. Why bother? Now that we've got the money, why don't we just move on? Not go back tonight for Spade Bynum? That's the idea. And a good one, don't you think? I'm giving the orders in this outfit, Slim. And don't you forget it. We've got to keep our end of the deal with Spade. If we cross him, then he'll cross us. And we'll never be able to operate in these parts again. Well, boys, I guess we'll go back for Spade after all. How are you doing, Toro? I'm aching of the cabeza, but I'm ready now to ride on the trail of the missing money. There isn't any trail. Well, we follow Anita Vélez and we find one. Why do you say that? Because when a woman leaves El Toro for another man, there can only be one reason, and that reason is money. What do you think, kid? I said... Oh, please don't bother him, amigo. He's thinking. Oh, thanks for the compliment. The best that a man can do in a case like this is, is a lot of guesswork. What's happened? Well, suppose Toro is correct, and this Velez girl is tied in. What's the next move? I suppose she'll try to help Bynum make his getaway. And naturally, she'll expect to find a guard with him. Do we take turns? No, no. You and I have another job to do, Johnny. But there is a man who's good for the job, a man who understands women through and through. That's me. We've got plenty of time, boys. Nita won't be expecting us before midnight. I'm trying to get some sleep. Well, nice, senor. I'm trying not to get some sleep. Guinness? Una amiga. Are you not glad to see me? No, I'm not glad to see you. Then why did you let me in? Because I thought you were the widow of Bando. Ah, oh, querido, please do not be angry with me. I'm not angry with you. I only realize that you bring the midnight snack for the handsome sheriff, but he's not here. But you are here. When I choose him instead of you, I make big mistake. I know it now. In North California, there is no man like El Toro. Shut up, you two, will you? Let me get some sleep. 
Mal hombre, you deserve no consideration. Toro, there are things I wish to say to you. Alone. Why do you not take your food on the Galeria? Out there, the moon is shining, the mocking birds... I'm mocking somebody, but it's not going to be El Toro. How can you be so cruel? You were always so tender. Do you not remember that night in Vallejo? I wear the same perfume. The same irresistible perfume. Come, corazón de mi corazón. Well, only because you call me heart of your heart do I go. On second thought, maybe I better stay here with the prisoner. I don't know what for. I couldn't have any more chains on me if I were a married man. Your jokes are not funny. Come, we go to enjoy the moonlight. Just imagine, on a night like this, with a man like you. All clear. Come on. Come on, come on. Carson, the sheriff forgot to lock that window. They're just too busy riding circles. Now, come on, hurry it up. Well, what do you think I'm doing? This is a little out of my line. Well, Toro should be back any minute, you know. Don't worry about him. He'll take care of that. But you ought to know that. Why did you not come with me to the Galeria? Out there, the moon is shining and love is blooming. I can see the moon from here. Besides, my soul is full of love no matter where I am. You hear something? Only the beating of my heart. Pepita. But you give me none of your attention. You only think of your food. Oh, but it's so good, and you're so good to bring it to me. Oh, Toro, how it thrills me to hear a kind word from your lips. Where else does the word come from? I think I check on my prisoner. Por qué? The prisoner is completely chained. And so is your other prisoner. Senorita, with so many men in your life, how do you find the room for El Toro? Because, because I... Do I have to confess it? Must I say the words a girl wants to hear, but cannot say herself? I have no time for riddles. Then I will say them. You te adoro. Let's get out of here. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go. So you adore me? Well, so do all the widows, but they do not drag me away from my duty so a bank robber can escape. Do you think I would do that? Your own little Nita? Think it? I know it. So far, so good. Look over there. Bueno, then we have many good signs to follow to the money.
smart. They'll graze their horses and let them rest. They're about played out. Ours, too. Now's the time for the showdown. I'll circle around and cut him off. You keep him pinned down here, what do you say? Good soldiering, Johnny. with the money. Just pull in from the county seat, Johnny. Oh, here's my deputy. Morning, Callahan. Howdy, Sheriff. Where's the prisoner? Holy smoke, a whole stage load. How come? Well, the situation sort of changed overnight. The sheriff took care of that. Not quite. If it hadn't been for you and El Toro, forget it. All right, boys, let's go. Will you not say a good word to the judge for poor little Lisa? Okay, you've caused me so much trouble. I was a bad girl, muy mal. Well, I'll speak to the judge. What will you tell him? I'll tell him how you picks my pocket. Ready, Toro? Well, of course, El Toro is always ready for more adventure. And more senoritas. 